Sociopaths are predators. If you ever know one well, you can notice when they enter a room or a new environment, they scan the environment in a very predatorial way. Um, they go about things in a very predatorial manner. They will hunt down their victims or their targets. They will first survey their environment and they will look for someone that would be a good target who has what they want, whether that be money, power, or an attractive person they want to sleep with. And they will basically prey on them. They will then scope out a informant, a person that's close to the target, someone that likes to gossip, someone that likes to get dirt, and they become best buddies with this person, and they use this person once they're discarding their target and doing a smear campaign. And then they will do their little chameleon act where they create a mask based on what they've observed and the research they've done from stalking the victim. They will create a mask that is appealing to the target. And they will listen to what the target says and then paraphrase it back to the target so it sounds like they're a match made in heaven and that the sociopath understands the target so well. And then they will just love bomb the target. They will make small talk about hobbies and interests that they know the target has. And then they will move on to um, courting and doing more love bombing of the target. And the sociopath will stalk the target, magically appear where the target is. They will become friends with the same people. They will just be all up in their mix all of a sudden. And then once they have the victim tied down, they'll start to isolate the victim. They will use the data gathered from the informant and isolate the target from their coworkers, friends, family, everything. And then they will start making subtle, non-flattering comments to the victim about their friends and coworkers, start um, you know, triangulating and pitting people against each other so that they can isolate the victim. And then they want vengeance. Anyone who stops, tries to stop the sociopath will be met with violence or threats. So everyone leaves the sociopath to go and, you know, torture the victim pretty much because they scare everyone off. And then projection comes in where the sociopath secretly turns on the victim to the friends and starts um, talking behind the back of the victim and smearing the victim. And then the sociopath will be able to do whatever they want to the victim. And then after that, after they get what they want, then they start the smear campaign and possibly the psychological murder.